Did everyone get a chance to go over that? Yes. Yep. <clears throat> yep. Now, Stefan, did you get a chance to look at this? Yes. Uh, I actually sat down just previous to the COVID with Sasha, and we, we worked on it together to bring it up to date. Okay. Because um, really when, you know, um, things happen, you need, you're right in the thick of things as well. So I just want to make sure that you are well aware of that. Yes, I haven't received anything in the last couple of days, but I'm assuming it's the, the version that Sasha and I worked up from working from last year's. Yep. Yeah, no, I, I uh, she sent it along, and it looks like it's all updated, and everyone's uh, from you to to um, to Sasha, so I just wanted to make sure that you had an opportunity to put your eyes on it. Yep. All right. Um, any other discussion, John? Any comments from you? Uh, no. All look good to me. Ray? It looks fine to me, uh, Tom. And Kelly, any questions, concerns? Oh, no, nope, that looks good to me. All right. And Don, how about yourself? Any, any there's a new eyes on it? Did you see anything that stood out? No, I mean, no. It looked pretty straightforward, yep. All right. So I'd move that we go ahead and adopt um, the local energy management plan as uh, presented. I'll second. Any uh, further discussion? All right. All in favor, vote aye. 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 Thank you, Kelly. And all, so that's unanimous there. And all right. So now we have um, discussion on the uh, Dickerson Road. So I don't think Martin is on the line. Um, but we are. We have, I guess, uh, received all the permits that we we need to do, uh, or need to uh, to get at this point. Um, we are going to be going to the DRB post. Um, fix on this road, but uh, I have spoken with uh, David Speck, and uh, um, that's the best way to, for us to uh, get to this and uh, get it before the road ends up in the river. Um, we did receive a couple different bids. Uh, we had um, Blow and Cody, and then we had um, oh, Jesus. Uh, Ray's firm, Dubois Construction. Mm -hmm. Pardon, it's not Ray's firm. I'm sorry, I didn't mean to say that. Um, mm -hmm. Anyways, Dubois Construction, and so Dubois was significantly uh, less than uh, than Blow and Cody. I do have a contract for them, and just wanted to let you know, wanted to sign that, and, and they're also striking the the 15% uh, by the May 1st. Uh, penalty that was in there. So, um, you know, Ray will, unless the board has any uh, issues, I will sign that off um, tonight or tomorrow morning. You guys can, um, you know, do what you need to do. Yep. Uh, so I think our schedule is, um, we were hoping Wednesday, but I think it's going to be Thursday for just this, this weather is kind of throwing us a little curve here and in the, in the whole COVID thing, but uh, uh, I, I, it's going to be some latter part of this week that we'll start that project. All right. And when I, and, and when I do, uh, I, the day before, I'll definitely get a hold of Don and, and Sasha and, and give you guys notice. Okay. Yeah, um, that would be good so I can get the folks on the road organized. Yep. Um, yep. And would you guys would would the team like me to contact Mad River Ambulance or Stefan? Is that something you'd want to do, or or how do you want to handle that? 
Absolutely. I have a few contacts there, so I can just, uh, I'll let them know. And I can also let the state police know if you'd like as well. That'd be good, Stefan, if you could do that. Absolutely. But it, you should wait till we get the schedule. Like maybe after Ray gets in touch with me, I can get in touch with you, Stefan, and tell you what the schedule is. Because we're gonna, it's gonna be opened at night, right? What, right, what, Ray? That's that's the plan. Is to have access, one lane access at night time. Or I should say okay. that during night parking hours. Okay, that'll uh, that'll work good. Um, if Martin cc'd in that email, I will uh, I'll be able to get it from him and can call accordingly. Yeah, Martin will be right, and he's going to be in you because you guys, I think, you're going to be doing a little bit of the tree work down there, Stefan, whether you know it or not. Oh boy, <laughs> I think there's a little bit of work for you guys. Not a lot, but. Uh, uh, I think Martin did uh, sh share that with me. That's correct. And um, so, anyways, all right. So good that, uh, and we'll also, and Stefan, if you want to remind Martin in the morning as well, um, there's some mailboxes that he's going to put up, some temporary mailboxes for the people on the road. Yes, I will. Uh, I will mention that again in the morning. Right, so you want to get that in the next day or two. Dep again, depending on the the, um, the timing of this, but the sooner the better. That way, the less traffic. Um, you know, the mailman doesn't have to to go down there, so that would be would be nice. Absolutely. All right. Um, you know what? And as long as we're talking about um, that, we're we're I guess we're pretty well ahead on our our, um, our agenda. Uh, we should talk a little bit about because um, we're talking about construction in the in the village, the sidewalks. Um, we we haven't uh, voted on uh, Dubois for Dickerson Road yet, correct? Uh, thank you, John. That why you that, that motion that we hire Dubois Construction for the Dickerson Road project. All right, is there a second, Kelly or uh, I'll Donna? second that. I'll second that. Donnie, thank you. Um, you know, Ray is uh, going to abstain himself from this vote. Um, so all in favor, vote aye. 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 And um, so that's fours uh, with Ray abstaining. Thank you. Sorry, we, thank you, John, for keeping uh, keeping on track there. Um, anyways, why don't we go ahead and... Uh, uh, do some of the old business right now, and that would be um, uh, the sidewalk project. Pardon me. And uh, it looks like we're all ready to go for next Monday. Ray is the big move-in day. Is that correct? We hope to uh, start putting some signs up uh, sometime this week or or Monday. Um, and once that once those are up. I think the big pine is going to come down next week. Um, we're meeting with Green Mountain Power uh, tentatively Thursday morning. Uh, I don't know, John, if you want to be part of that. We can let you know exactly what time. Okay. Um, but I think it's tentatively set up for 9 o'clock Thursday morning. <clears throat> uh, 9 o'clock Thursday the 14th. Uh, no, this Thursday. Oh, this Thursday. Uh, Okay. Yeah. They they want to take a look at it. Um, okay. And it looks like Tree Works will be doing the the actual cutting of the tree for us. Oh, good. Yeah. And then um, our plan is to start the actual actual excavation uh, by the fire station on the 18th. Okay. So we'll put that out on uh, front porch for them. As well, um, <clears throat> letting people know that things are going to happen. I, I noticed there were some Dubois trucks um, bringing um, material into the pit today, so um, you know things are starting to pick up a little bit. And yeah. um, but everyone in town should be well aware that there's going to be a considerable amount of movement. Um, uh, 
and we've. Well, um, how about maybe a, a maybe just a sign at the store or at the post post office, a little eight by eleven or something. Oh, I think that's a good idea, Sasha. Is that something that you could um, put together? And, and something substantial, we may have to um, order from Staples. But they they can do oh. things in half an hour. Um, just so it's it's something that's not going to be. Um, you know, damaged or water resistant or something like that. Okay. Yep. Or you may be able to do something. I mean, I don't know what you're, you're keeping yeah, we have there at the office. Supplies. Yeah, so just something in, uh, something for both the um, the office, I mean, the post office and the store. Okay. And um, we should also put on um, on that local contact uh for the project, and um, so. And who would you like me to put on there? Yeah, <laughs> that's what I'm. Uh, <laughs> that's what I'm thinking. Um, John, is, is that me or you? Uh, yeah. Yeah. So why don't you put both uh, put both John and uh, my name on there with our. Um, our cell phone numbers. Okay. And uh, people can contact us. Okay. Or they can contact certainly anyone, but uh, that, there's a name on there. If, you know, anyone that uh, certainly, you know, they can contact you. Um, we don't really care, but as long as if there's issues, we we want to hear about it. Okay. All right. Um, Ray, anything else on the project real quick do you want to um, bring us up to date on or the dates or or any time that you want to do something formal um, as a presentation? Uh, uh, let's see. I was thinking that well, our next left board meeting is the 18th, right? Um, yes. And I don't know if you want to do it in, in conjunction with with the select board meeting. We can certainly um, we could talk more. You know, if you want to talk about the project at the next select board meeting, um, that'd be fine. Or if you want to do something uh, during the day, um, that's also fine. What, whatever you guys think uh, is necessary. I mean, um, when we start <clears throat> by the fire station. Um, you know, we're going to be off off the site, kind of out of the way, so that would be a good time for people get to get familiar with us, and then uh, they can see the size of the equipment. And when we get out into the streets and start tearing up the sidewalk, is it's when it's really going to be noticeable, and that's going to be uh, it'll take us at least a week over by the fire station to to get that that piece of work in. Um, so. Um, well, maybe we could do it then the 18th. Um, now, I don't know, and this is something we'll need to, to look into, but what type of restrictions, my thought is what I'd like to do is have our next meeting uh, live, uh, probably have it at the um, uh, town uh, hall. And uh, I think there's enough space in there so that there can be adequate um, social distancing. Um, but again, depending on what you know the governor's orders are at that time, but I think we may see some restrictions that allow us to do that. That sounds good. And and by that time, we should have a lot of the stakes in for uh, where the new structures are. Uh, curbing sidewalk, all that, uh, you know, so the people have a chance to to look at what's ahead of them. And, you know, maybe we could do it, um, we could possibly start the meeting earlier, have it at uh, 5 or 5.30. That way, if there's construction going on, you know, you could, uh, maybe at 5.30 they get done, maybe some people there from your company that want to attend, um, and so maybe we could plan something like that. I, I think that's a good idea, Tom. 
I plan on it. All right, so uh, Monday the 18th at 5.30, <laughs> tentatively, depending on, you know, what's happening with our, you know, our social uh, distancing and, and governor's recommendations, um, you know, we'll start with a, kind of an open house, if you will, on, on the project. Yep. You know, maybe to get a few people coming in, maybe we could order um, uh, pizza or something like that for the, you know, trying to get an idea for what people might come. And uh, maybe that will bring some people and it'll be a good thing, uh, again, can't. depending on, the you know, the um, the social thing and how that works, but you know, right. something like that. I don't think we can do the food thing if we're yeah, still. Yeah, no. As I'm talking, I'm, I'm thinking the, the same thing. Individual pieces, you know, that's not going to work. Um, but we we should probably, if we do, we're going to need to we're going to need to have masks. We're going to be probably still wearing masks. There's no, you know. Oh, absolutely. I think that'll. I mean, I think that's going to be a norm, right? Um, yeah, unless unless Pence comes to the meeting, but other than that. Um, so. Uh, but, you know, we can talk offline on how we want to plan that. And, uh, you know, Don, maybe you can help plan that as well. I know you're, you've got, uh, uh, you know, certainly uh, maybe, I don't know, maybe some extra time or just you've been involved in some of these things, so maybe you can help. Yeah, I've, 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 I can maybe help with that, yep. And to make sure we're compliant with the... Uh, with all, all the things that are going around uh, along us. Well, we have to be careful of how many people we get coming to the town hall to the meeting if we'll all be able to stay apart like that. But, yeah. But, yeah, well, that's um, – we're going to put your expertise to work and, and figure that out, Don, and how we um, – you know, whether we have a rotating system or, or what we do. But you're the unit. Innovative guy will uh, let you come up with something. We'll, we'll see if we can pull that off. Yeah. All right. Mm-hmm. It's, a, it's a fairly big space, and um, uh, and then we can, you know, work with Ray and raise people, and maybe they'll have drawings or they'll have a couple stations or something like that. I don't know how best to do this, but uh, um, you know, once you and Ray talk at some point, figure it out. That's fine. That's fine. All right. Yeah, I'll, I'll work with. I'll get. I'll double back with Ray, and we'll we'll see what we can come up with a little project uh, review meeting. Sounds great. And keep John uh, um, copied on all that stuff as well, if you don't mind. Mm-hmm. Thank you. Whatever right. happened to the uh, the town needing someone to represent the town or something? There was that whole. Before yes. the meltdown, that is that, um, um, is that, that going is, away? No, that uh, is actually John, that's, and that happened, uh, <clears throat> Donnie, because we had to have someone on the select board that was not going to be paid. Um, mm-hmm. Otherwise, it had to go out to bid, mm-hmm. and um, it, time prevented us from doing that. And so John, at the last moment, was um, voluntold. Um, uh, and so that's how that worked out. Oh, John will be doing it. Great. Oh, yep. okay, that's good. My guy. You've been involved with it from the start, so that's good. Yeah, that's true. That's true. That's yeah. a good way to do it. So, anyone in uh, anyone would have been capable of doing it, but uh, we got an email on a Friday that uh, Chris needed someone and it needed to be. <laughs> Anyway, we had to start over, and it had to be someone from the school uh, select board that uh, was not going to get. Uh, yeah. So that happens. That's great. So, all right. Um, anything else on the uh, sidewalk drainage? The, you got um, the email from David Hoyne with all the dates? Yes. Everyone has seen that? Everybody's seen that? Yeah. Okay, good. And well, I think the main per, the main thing is that the the contractor has got to be the person to try to make those dates. But it sounds like 
He got till September, what was it, 18th. He should be fine, right? Right? Right. Well, there were earlier dates in, in the contract um, that we were all hoping to hit, but based on being pushed back a month. But everyone, and uh, the last, we had a call, I don't know when was it, John, a week ago. Uh, and I think we were all invited to join. And I uh, had the uh, the Pike crew and the bridge crew on as well. And really the, the timing is just to make sure that this project gets done before the paving gets gets done. Right. And everyone is fine with that. Everyone's got things pushed back, and they didn't plan on doing the paving until later in the summer anyways here. Oh, there you go. Right. Yes, yeah, so what uh I think there's going to be plenty of time uh, for everyone to meet those deadlines and uh, you know we don't and so I agree with David to accept uh, uh certainly accept those those um dates and not pursue any action against the um uh, contractor. Uh, yeah, so I, I did. I, I reached out. Uh, Chris and I both reached out to David that uh, everything was fine. It seems those dates. Yeah. Yep. Um, there was another uh, email from, we have a new uh, assistant project manager, um, another Nick, uh, and <clears throat> he requested, we were wondering about using uh, part of the parking lot as the school is closed now. Uh, for I know you, you gave us permission to use where the old school, our old town office was, uh, but we were wondering uh, about using part of the parking lot near Greenfield's uh, line to just store some pipe rather than leaving it at the town garage and trying to bring it up through town. Not, Ray, I think that's fine. Uh, um, there's you know certainly no one uh, there at the school using it, so... You yeah. might as well. That's that's what I thought. I just wanted to run it by you guys. Yeah, good, good. That's a good spot for a staging area. If you wait, you know. Absolutely. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I think anything else you need to do that makes sense, like that type of stuff, rather than drop it off at the pit, um, you know, certainly allow room for the church, um, this church parking there. But keep it down towards the um, our end if you want. You can use some of that area, yep. a little bit more of that area if you need to. Okay. Thank you. All right. Um, what are we at? Six thirty now. So uh, why don't we go ahead? Is there any other old business? Um, well, I, I'd, I'd be interested while we're talking about. Uh, the sidewalks and paving. So I saw uh, some correspondence that I guess the bridge is going to start on the 21st of June. Is that what I read? That, I believe that's when the road closure is. Yeah, I think that is done. That's when they're going to. That's when the bridge will close, or because they're going to start earlier. I, I, I'm sorry if I I can't remember exactly the letter that I read that, that came in. Does anybody have an update yeah. on that? Um, I, I can't remember the last date, but if you saw it, they were sending uh, uh, correspondence through. June sounds a little bit early, to be honest with you. but um, No, I think that's what they said yeah. at the meeting. It was going to be June, July, and August, but they were going to close the bridge. But that's Well, no, originally it was, it was just July and August. Um even originally. Um, and then, Tom, I believe on that phone call that you and I had, there were two dates that I have down here. Um, June 29th. I thought the bridge was the 29th. Um, and actually, I have down here 29th through August 1st, so I don't... That seems like awfully quick, but... I, I I don't have my folks with me, but I, I thought it was the 22nd to the end of, like, August 15th or something like that. Okay. Well, Sasha, what's your letter? 
Sasha, didn't we just get a letter on that like last week or something? I, I try to. Yes, but I don't have my computer right in front of me. I'm sorry. All right, well, I'm looking. I'm going to look, too. I can't remember. I'm, you know. It, it, All right, so it's done. Um, so say it's the June 26th. What's, um... What's on my mind? Yes. <laughs> well, um, one thought, I, I one thing I would like to uh, bring up or ask if we can somehow accomplish. Um, well, there was that meeting at the town hall, and, and I... Forgive, forgive me if I don't remember the woman's name who was leading the the overview there, and maybe you'll tell me I should get in touch with her, but I'm just kind of curious. There's a whole signage program. I mean, I didn't know if they were going to give us another update of what they're doing, and regarding that, I, I'd like to see if we could reach out to the Waitsfield Select Board and have both our board and, and work with their board on how what we can make that Pony Farm Road doesn't become like a super highway. Because not only for the residents that live on that road, and now with what's going on with the, with the uh, coronavirus thing, all you need to do is go down that road and see tremendous amounts of people walking, biking, fishing, kicking ramps, you know, all kinds of stuff, you know. And how we can, you know, um, get people to respect the the that road and not go 40, 50 miles an hour. Like I was noticing we have a posted 35 mile an hour as you come down the Carpenter Farm Hill and into Moortown, it says 35. Maybe we could make that 25, you know, for a while just to try to get people to drive slow. Anyways, that's what I wanted to say. All right, so first, one of the things with the signage, and that was um, at our phone conference talked about really extensively, and um, one of the things they're, they're not doing is they're not pushing traffic towards Pony Farm. All the detours are on um, either 100, uh, but they're not pushing any kind of traffic uh, to Pony Farm. Well, oh, you know all the locals are going to take Pony Farm for right. sure. Everybody, yeah, you know, absolutely. Maybe knowing the, the locals will take um, that. So um, there's again, they're they're bringing in signage. Um, I think the only other thing is we will contact and the state police again. They know of um, the bridge bridge closure, but we'll remind them and we'll ask for up you know, uh, step up patrols on that road. Yeah, I guess I, I know they're going to put up signs, but I was just wondering if somehow we could put up a, a sign that would ap appeal to people's, how do we say it, you know, sensibilities or something or, or common sense. I mean, sure, they can put up a sign saying speed, speed limit 25 or, you know, something like that, but to get people to realize that there's dogs and people and bikes and walkers and, you know, to be aware, slow down. If you lived here, you wouldn't want that. Well, uh, you know, I don't, you know, know what you, um, you know, you know, that's what it's like, but anyways, well, I don't can I make a suggestion? Go ahead. Yeah. I would, I would suggest that, uh, maybe the town, talk to the state ALT guy and have the bridge contractor put up a message board on both sides of that road stating our concerns or stating uh, local traffic or, or something like that. But I think a message board, and I think the state would pay for that, uh, pay the contractor to put up a message board with any message we want to put up on it. There you go. Great idea. There you go. So, John, we can you can get with Chris Hunt on that because he works with the signage with those guys? Sure. Okay, and I actually just pulled up his email today, and it says that uh, on the call with the representatives of the Paving and Bridge Project last week, they all indicated their work wasn't likely to start until mid-July. Right. So. That, was the, that was the paving guy. That's the paving, though. Well, he said paving and bridge projects, but so I don't know why. 
I believe that the bridge, I, I thought that it was like June, June 22nd. That's exactly what I thought, John. Okay. Well, John, why don't you reach back out to him tomorrow? If we, and, Sasha, in the meantime, in the morning, look at previous emails. Uh, and if not, John, why don't you reach out just to get another uh, okay. yep. date line from him? Hey, it's oh, Stephanie it, here. It's just going on with that. I spoke to St. On, the bridge contractor, on Thursday, and they're waiting to hear back from the state, but they will be behind schedule because they can't get any of the steel or anything at this point. Okay, thanks. No problem. All right, so um, anyway, yeah, John, so that would be good to get an updated yeah. um, uh, idea from them. And, and, and also because there was a lot of questions going back and forth on the signage and who was going to be responsible for it um, and whether Pike was going to come in and, and lay out the early uh, signage because they were going to be later, just make sure that was clarified. Um, that was clarified, uh, Tom. All right. So, in, are you guys going to do that, Ray, or are they doing? Yeah, that we're just going to. Uh, the clarification is, we're just going to go ahead and do the, the signs, the construction signs that are proposed for the sidewalk job, and then when Pike gets in there, whenever they get there, there may be some modifications at that time. But, for right now, we're just doing the signage per plan. All right. And, um, <clears throat> Donnie, if you can. If you you know what those reader boards are, if you can come up with some tear jerker that'll get people to slow down, uh, by all means. Okay, yeah, I'll, I'll I'll work on some of that. That'd be great. Yep. I I, understand, I totally understand what you're saying. Um, and you know, hopefully something like that will make a difference. It would be nice if it would make a difference for sure. Right. So That's for sure. All right. All right. Anything else on uh, the road, uh, the signage, road projects, bridge projects, any of that stuff? Well, so we, we're going to get an update when they're going to start the, uh, the bridge project. I mean, I might have, maybe I didn't hear that because I was trying to find the, uh, oh, find the email. Yeah, it. John's reaching out to get an updated schedule on uh, all those projects. Great. All right. Any other questions on that? It's going to be a busy little town this summer, I guess, huh? Sure will be. Almost as busy as yesterday. <laughs> what was going on yesterday? Was it pretty busy in town, John? It was Dick Butch's 80th birthday. We had a a parade. We all met at the uh, school, the, at the parking lot. There were, uh, The three fire trucks were involved, and many people is well, I can't even believe there were there were literally a hundred cars. Really? Yeah. Wow. It was unbelievable. And we just had this long train of, of cars going up past Dick's house with signs and everything. Oh, that's awesome. Yeah. Maybe not a hundred, but I mean at least fifty. Uh, John, a hundred. You're you're a good Republican. Uh, <laughs> uh, um, <laughs> Uh, well, that's good. Well, you know, uh, you know, certainly uh, the board wishes uh, Dr. Dick a happy 80th, and hope you guys had a good time there. So, um, yeah, so it probably won't be as busy as that, but it'll be a uh, busy village, uh, you know. And hopefully, uh, I know Du Bois has has put forth their plan for for social social distancing and adhering to. Uh, uh, all the recommendations put forth. So, Ray, tell your company thank you. And uh, we'll certainly expect that from the other contractors as well. Thank you. Yep. Um, all right. So now why don't we go ahead and um, discuss the, the – uh, and we're at some point having um, Ray Daggle in uh, for discussion on the MOU. But – just wanted to put it out there, make sure everyone had a look at it um, and see if there are things that um, we should look into prior to speaking with Ray.
Donnie, have you had an opportunity to read through that? I was uh, reading it uh, the other day. You know, yeah, I've, I've been reading. Yep. It's, so, uh, you know, I, take, I would, it's good, I think, always from someone that hasn't seen it. It's, it's good to get fresh eyes on something. Um, Ray, with what we're doing, all the, the, the maintenance and stuff, if there's anything else that you think. I mean, I think it's pretty well covered here. Um, I do want to speak to Martin to make sure that we're covered with the, the 12,000, but I think that's still in the range as well. The other thing that uh, comes to mind, Tom, was uh, we talked at one time about um, putting some cameras up out there and whether that would fall into this or something else, I'm not sure. Well, you know what, there is there is uh, safety and security um, is one of the items. So, you know what, I think that would be something that would probably benefit um, both of us. So I think that's something that uh, would be a good idea to bring up to, to see what Ray's idea. I think they have one, or they used to have one in the, in the school that did the um, the entrance way. Right. Uh, but uh, I would think something, you know, more in the parking lots and maybe out towards the back um, might be beneficial for all. Was it, uh, I don't think uh, mean. Pardon me. Out towards the back or towards the town office? Well, towards the town office, but also um, towards the back of the school as well. Oh. Yeah. And uh, and then what we had with what we wanted to do with the town office, so I think it would we could do something with them to make it palatable for both of us. All right. So this is going to get done in conjunction with the sidewalks and the paving and everything. No, I don't think so. Oh. As far as what done security. No, the, not the security, the repair of the, of the parking lots and the roads going in there and all that. Is that, is that what this is all about? No, this is um, general maintenance. Uh, there is long-term maintenance and, and short-term. Uh, so, yep. no, we're not doing oh, any... Plowing and the uh, rec fields and so on. So, like, the oh, short-term, so short-term maintenance is road surfacing, get... which includes grading... Um, Snow and ice removal. It's on the, the second oh. page of that. Yeah, I see road service maintenance, grading. But there's no plan to, like, fix it up. It's it's just sort of uh, grade it and keep on moving. So we're not well, take, repaving that or anything, right? Uh, not at this juncture. Right now we, we're, right. we're working on a, um, a grant. Pretty In tough. fact, we have a grant for... Um, uh, the parking lot that we're actually doing the, uh, in fact, we chose the engineering firm to come up with a plan. And that's uh-huh. what we, um, so there is uh, long-term plans, yes. It's on the radar. Okay. Yep. yep. Uh, did you want to discuss that more now, Tom, or, or under? Yeah, John, why don't you go ahead? Okay. All right, well, for, uh, first of all, um, in our um, remote meeting of the Central Vermont Regional Planning Commission the other night, um, we um, a- actually were going to be funded. It looks like Pam was able to get a grant to complete the funding so that more time we won't have to pay for anything. So before, we did, the grant was just for the 30%. Mm-hmm. Well, it looks like we're going to get funds that will cover uh, up to the 100%. Wow. Yeah. Wow. Uh, Free money. That's uh, So that was what, uh, let's see, uh, we chose. Oh, actually, no, it was not that meeting. I'm sorry. I got my, so many remote meetings. I also I had one with Ridge to River, so I mean, it was, it was that meeting. And, um, and. So we're looking at uh, thirty-one thousand, I believe is. Yes. Yeah. Um, yeah. Okay. So that's going to be covered. Great. And so, Don, that's that's a plan for drainage um, 
within that whole parking lot. Right. Yeah, drainage and, and landscaping and, um, yeah, I mean, it's really the, the whole project. The only thing I was concerned about in that whole thing is it mentioned paving, and I thought we had decided to just pave, not to pave the whole parking lot. Wasn't that correct? Well, not to pave the whole parking lot until we had all the um, drainage put in. Right, but I, okay, all right. So I didn't know if, if the final project, if that had been decided that it was going to be totally paved or or stay mat or whatever. Yeah, no, I don't think, um, I don't recall uh, saying just stay mat, but um, I mean, again. These, have been, these things have been changed around so many times. Yeah, oh, uh, yeah. Well, when they come up oh, with their now, plan. Now, now that you're, you, I remember now, uh, it was, we didn't want to do any paving until we had the, you know, all the piping and everything in. Right. That was for right. sure. But I'd have to go back and see, or, or Cheryl probably would be best at that. To, uh, I think it's we were just holding off the paving um, just, well, until we get that stuff taken care of because it was foolish to put it in and, and tear it up. Right. That was that's for sure. And this will obviously all the drainage repair will help the Mad River because we'll we'll make our drainage better, right? Yeah, um, and that was the, the whole idea with that is is, is yeah is that is the ridge of the rivers and, and it kind of goes in conjunction with um, the work that we're doing out there now. Uh, yeah, the stormwater management plan. Um, all the the drains will be uh, equipped with uh, filtration devices and everything, mm -hmm. so that you know it'll filter out stuff so it doesn't go pouring into the river. Right. And there's a, I mean, there's a, you know, what is it, a sediment pond, John? Because I mean, we were even going to have education. Right. We're talking about building the education around that so people understand what's going on there. Yeah, it's quite a, a neat project, John. I think you'll like it. Yeah, no, sounds good. Um, something that's been worked on actually for several years and um, then funding got dried up and, and such, but uh, it seems like things are on the way now. Anything else on that, John? Uh, no, I guess that's it. That's good to know that we get full funding on that, though. Yeah, I was very pleased. And um, and so that'll be good to let Ray um, and those guys know, because I know they were in uh, for half of that, um, I guess the 70% or whatever it was that was left. Right, right. So, all right. Um, so, again, everyone take a look through this. Uh, if there's something that comes to mind um, that needs to be brought up, we will uh, make sure to do that. And we'll, we'll speak. I'll speak with uh, um, oh, uh, pardon me. Now I'm uh, losing my mind here. Uh, anyways, move on. Um, Go ahead and discuss um, any other reports, communications, Sasha. Um, I have two things, not really report and communication, but um, Sherilyn brought it to my attention that Michael Brown was actually elected and didn't need to be appointed. She just wanted on record in the minutes. And I also so have... So was that uh, on the write-in, so he had enough write-in? Yes. Yeah. All right. Oh, that's good. Great. Yeah. And the other thing is I, <clears throat> I got the Duxbury contract back, so it'll need everybody's signature. So we'll work on getting that done over the next couple of weeks, hopefully. All right. Is that at the office now? Um, nope, but it will be. All right. Very good. 
And um, how is things um, as far as the office goes, Sasha? Maybe you could uh, give people a little update on what you're doing and, and how are things working out. Things are going pretty good. Uh, Sherilyn and I are working pretty good together, um, getting the mail every couple of days and keeping it in a bag until we think it's safe to open. And uh, Ray has been great through all of this, getting the warrants signed. Um, Things are going good. What do we have at the office for um, cleaners, that type of stuff? Do we have gloves? Do we have masks? Anything like that? Um, I got masks on order. I ordered five boxes. That's 250 of them. We should have them this week. And all the other stuff is just, like, on back order. Okay. Um, so you, you're both still working at home, right? Yes. Uh, Sherilyn is, or it does have the office open on Fridays. It started last Friday, and she's in there by appointment only. Um, right. No, I mean, I totally get it, and, and, and I agree, that, agree, but I'm just curious. Did, didn't the governor, he did, while he's opening up the spigot, say that, you know, uh, municipal offices could op- back, open back up. I mean, it's, I, I was surprised to read that, but that he made that in his last, one of his last opening the spigots, but I don't understand how that could be, really, based on, you know, conversations we've all had. The restriction, John, is that there can only be two people in the office at a time, and they have to be six feet apart. So that's why she just appointments only. What was was Ray? Did you have a comment? Uh, No, I just coughed. Oh. Um, So Don, I think as we we move forward, I you know certainly the governor can make those recommendations. We can be open, so we we certainly have the right to be open, and now we need to do it with uh with care and making sure that we have all that safety equipment there and that I agree uh, yeah um that we can figure out uh protocol and I know um Sherilyn's been working on that and Sasha if you could you know continue to work with her and you know kind of let's you know let's work on a transition plan to to um you know because we will have to to uh, eventually get back to the office and I know things will probably never be the same um you know we may need to uh come up with some plexiglass um uh things for the office i know everywhere i go now there seems to be some kind of a plexiglass um window um so you guys may need that as well okay i don't know if you thought about that but um you know that, that might be something we we should look at. Definitely going to be a whole new world, that's for sure. Yeah, it really is. Um, and I mean, I know right now Cheryl Lynn has um, set up the uh, the conference room, the the Hogaboom conference room, into she's turned the table lengthwise and then put the search computer in there. So people can do their their searches in there. People can't actually um, go into the vault or use the uh, anything paper because it, the, um, those deeds and such can't be um, sanitized. So everything, which is great, everything is online um, that they can come in and, and, and use. All right. Um, so just in the line of reports, communication, uh, uh, communications, communications announcements, uh, and I'll start with you, Callie. Is there anything that you want to share with us or um, you've done over the last week? No. Donnie, how about yourself? As far uh, no. It's, just it's in, just in general. Week. What? 
Just in general, it doesn't need to be, you know, I don't know if you've... Oh, in, in general, town-wise, I've been uh, working with Mike DeMosis and I've rallied a few other people and we've been doing a little green-up uh, on 100B. All right. And um, so uh, because we're we're feeling that when, when uh, May 30th comes, you're not going to be able to see the stuff because it's going to be so old. It's almost getting too, you know, it's growing up pretty fast now. Are there any, um, are there bags available or what's, how's that working? Yes, there are bags available for sure. Mike has them. Um, I have a few as well. And, um, yeah, so that's, that's been one thing. And I've noticed there's, there's been other people out. There's been people going out and picking up. So I encourage everybody who's on this call to don't hesitate. Do a little area because it's going to get harder when the Everything starts growing up. All right. I think that's good advice. Um, John? Uh, yes. In uh, in lieu of the annual um, Arbor Day conference, uh, they held, uh, they're holding several webinars, and I attended the first one, which is on town forest management, and, um, you know, learned some more stuff, and, um basically, you know, we've got the the town forest that uh you know, we need to renew that uh, management plan. And once again, as I brought up before, the recommendation is to have a team approach, a committee approach, and uh, also, you know, whenever is possible to um sponsor some type of a town town meeting or forum or whatever um, so that people can voice their opinions. After all, it is it is a town, you know, it's a town forest, so everybody should should have, have some say, or at least heard. Um, or at but least especially, learn about it. Pardon me? Or at least learn about it. Yeah, exactly. And um, There's probably lots of people in town who don't even really know about it, and, you know and what they could do, you know, what's, what's available to them. Right. Exactly. Right. Yeah. Um, and then of course, you know, that site, uh, you know, we can take a look at uh, logging as well. And then I was also wondering about the, the site on Moortown mountain road. Um, and I don't know whether the rec committee has, I mean, I know they know about it, but I don't know if they've, they're planning on anything there, but certainly that, that area, um, I think we really do need to wait before we do anything uh, to really, you know, let the town know about it and, and talk more with the town about it. So, I mean, that, that's my feeling. Um, no, I, I agree. I think we certainly, uh, it would be good to do something on what, what we have going on in the village and the, the town force there, but also... Um, get our ducks in a row on the Moortown Mountain parcel and have a presentation on that at the same time, um, again, right. sometime this fall, so that people realize that that, that land's all available for people to use. Right. Um, and these are the, the uses or things you can't do, which I guess there's not a lot of restrictions on them. So. Yeah, okay. That sounds good. All right. Ray, how about yourself? I'm just wondering, Tom, uh, and, and this could be a little early for this, but has anybody thought about more best and whether we should be thinking about canceling it? Yeah, well, I don't – there's really um, nothing been going on with more fest. I would say um, just as this corona, uh, the corona started, uh, was times when we had to make some decisions on it, and we really kind of did. We didn't put any money into uh, the budget for it um, because there's no appetite for anyone out there to to raise the money. It, it didn't seem, um, you know, Katrina was willing to to chair it or run it, but she didn't want to do uh, any of the fundraising. And my wife was involved with it too. She didn't want to spend all that time and I understand that I means a lot of work and just a few people were doing it so um, at this point Ray I, I don't think we have it's, it's there's nothing planned okay um, but I think you know maybe 
with what we've gone through and you know what's you know there may be a time when we do want to have some kind of a celebration here in town um maybe not this fall but sometime uh soon yeah i, I would think that you know next spring or early summer that we'd have some sort of celebration of our yeah. overcoming covid yeah overcoming that you know we'll have um you know the sidewalks the, the, Right, bridge, yeah. you know, new pavement in town, um, and things will hopefully start to settle down a little bit. So maybe we can do something next spring or early summer. Yeah, no, I think that uh, I think that'd be a great celebration. Yeah, and uh, you know, I think the fireworks and all that's a it's a great, great thing. Um, so yeah, and I think you know, and, and who knows what's going to happen with. Uh, things this fall, so I think, yeah, next summer would be a good time to do something like that. Yep. All right. Um, uh, also, I don't know if uh, you've kept up with the, um, you know, the information that comes out from Mark Bosma with the uh, uh, <clears throat> COVID-90 updates, but we have had cases in Moortown. We're on the, the one to five cases, so I'm not sure how many, but we have had at least one case. Yeah. Well, yeah, it's out there. So I wasn't uh, aware of that. Yeah, it's a map that just came out on Friday. That the original map they had, they had it at zero to five, and so you couldn't really tell. Uh, you know the, those towns that were in the zero to five, but they changed the new map as a zero, <clears throat> with several towns like Berlin, for example, not one case. Uh, whereas Moortown, Waitsfield, Warren, um, and Granville, right down the line there, all have one to five cases. Hmm. Face and Duxbury, yeah. Duxbury haven't had any. Well, it's, uh, yeah, well, again, everyone make sure you're careful out there. It uh, certainly does not discriminate and can get any of us. So, um, so yeah, so I think uh, our, our social gatherings um, next time will probably be a good idea. Hopefully so we're going to have to really weigh up. How are we going to weigh up whether we have this meeting or not at the town hall? When when will we pull the trigger on that to decide if we do it or not? Well, if it's going to be the 18th, today's the 4th, I would say within a week, right? I mean, you know, it's just, I mean, if things haven't really changed, if they're still the same a week from now, I can't see that we would be doing it, you know? Uh, yeah. I mean, I don't know, just seeing what I'm reading, what I'm reading, but I don't know how we make that call. Are we all going to get together quickly for a call next Monday, even though it's not a meeting, and decide whether we should have an open meeting? I don't know if we have to do it over the phone. We can see what the governor says this week, and uh, then you know, Sasha can take a poll or whatever. Um, I, you know, myself, <clears throat> as long as we have separation in the meeting, I'm, I'm good with it. I, I, you know, I'd much rather have a meeting in person, but that's me. All right. Well, let's see. Let's go through this week. Let's see how things and what we're hearing. Um, and, uh, Yeah, I don't know about that. When you really, when I look at the date from two weeks from now, will you be able to have anything with any kind of? Um, but it, we need to have some yeah. updates on the construction. So maybe it's. Um, this is where we can, Donnie and you and I can even talk. Is, you know, maybe we have our meeting live, have some do boys people there, but, but then have. Everything else just video. Um, for, so yeah, let's let's think about that so that we can yeah. get the people in the village uh, involved with it because there's going to be you know uh, 
there's going to be just so much going on. The, the more that we can get people <laughs> to understand what's going on, the the, the fewer communication. Yeah, yeah, and we'll have to figure out the best way to do that. Um, so let's yeah, let's think about that in the next. And you and I should talk about that. Okay. Many uh, on on how we can do that. I think from from the Dubois end, I think we'll probably come up with a a handout for all the residents in in the village, uh, a general handout with rough schedule dates, and then we'll update those dates on a weekly basis. But I think we'll we'll have a handout available, and we'll we'll put them out to all the all the houses in the village of of what our schedule is and contact information and. And things like that. So okay. we'd probably do that next week. All right. So we'll you know, take that into consideration as well when we're we're planning this or trying to figure out how best to communicate this. But uh the idea is to do something on the eighteenth or or uh, you know, whether it's a video or some kind of a uh, message that that um gets more of the information that these people need. Already? Maybe if it's a nice, maybe if it's a nice day, the the names we could gather with the neighbors outside, like you said, at the old town office or at the gazebo or something where people could spread out of it. I guess you know. Yeah, you know? yeah. You don't have to be inside. Um, there may be an opportunity there. So you're right. Yeah, I, I agree. I think I think outside is is better. I mean, after all, uh, you know what what Phil has done is is. Yeah, you know, pretty much for construction, it's really outdoors. Everything seems to be outdoors. So, in terms of uh, you know going back, so I think that makes a yeah. lot of sense. Yeah. All right. Um, all right. Well, we'll uh, we'll try to figure that out. Then we'll get a plan within a week or so. Within a week, uh, what we're going to do to everyone. Is that good? Yep. All right. Um, we have um, minutes that need to be uh, uh, approved. Uh, from I make the motion to approve the minutes of April 20th as presented. All right. Thank you, John. Any second? Second. Thank you, Kelly. All in favor, vote aye. All right. All right. All right. All right. Very good. Um, is there any other old business that anyone wanted to bring up? So hearing none. Uh, any new business? Um, well, actually, either old or new. Um, we had the service officer down here, and then. Um, also, first constable. You know, we really should have a first constable. All right. Well, so, um, Sasha, is that something that you could put on front porch, uh, front porch forum, the advertising? Yes, I can. Um, I did have one back after. I could reach out to that. They're actually still interested. Yeah, why don't you do that? Okay. Uh, unless, John, do you know anyone that had any interest? Me? Yeah. No. You don't have any interest? Anyone on the board have any interest to be the first constable? <laughs> Don? Uh, uh, I don't know. What the, uh, I'd have to figure out what the, what does the first constable do. Well, Sasha, if you get a chance, could you send Donnie a, a description of what they are responsible for? Yeah. It's not a lot of stuff, but there's a few things uh, that you could you help coordinate with. you got to get a big white hat. Yeah, you need a hat. I mean, that's yeah, okay. I can pull people over on Pony, Pony Farm Road. Well, no. <laughs> 
Well, you can you can stand at the end. Right. right. Flag them down and make sure they don't use it if they don't live there. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> So I, I, on the old, on, on, are we, on the old business, um, can we get out there in the at some point um, doing this tax discussion? I know what what in the meeting notes and what Cheryl Lynn told us that some people can pay their taxes, of, you know, if they want it ahead of time. But I'm not sure it's really something that people know about or maybe there's a way there can be an incentive or something but just to have a more of a brainstorming on it and I don't know if that would involve maybe Greg and, and maybe even Jason you know who he's quite a, a numbers guy right well the, what I mean we can let everyone know that they can pay their tax early unfortunately there's no no incentives um because that's something that needs to be voted on by the town, and we vote every year on penalties, if you will. Um, so, uh, but you well, know, what, the, the discuss it. You know, we're not going to come out of this in one year. This is going to be over. You know, and so, but maybe to discuss it so that we could bring it up to talk to people in town. Maybe there is some, like, if you paid early, you get it instead of you get the one percent rake on what you're paying, and then someone wouldn't think they need to keep the money because they're going to earn one percent. You know. Well, you know what? Why don't we? Um, and this would involve Jason. Uh, we could ask the finance committee to come up with a proposal for that Don, for the town meeting. Yeah. Um, I don't know. Yeah. And, and maybe they could come up with a an equation. That say you know just going to say all right if we get people to pay by August first this is going to save us so much so we could give a discount of this much and we're going to earn the interest on that money too when it comes in as well right well that's that's part of their whole equation I'm hoping they right. would consider so John is that something that you can bring to the finance committee yeah I don't know um, you know we had had a uh, meeting supposedly scheduled, but then, you know, that, that changed. So let me get in touch with uh, with Becky and see, we certainly, there has been discussion of doing a remote meeting, so let me uh, yeah, yeah. with her on that. So if you guys need to use the uh, the town conference service, just let Sasha know and she can give you the, the particulars on how to use it, but yeah, okay. it's just uh, get together. And I know because you need to also discuss uh, paying for the excavator, whether we should be looking at a loan on that. And certainly with the the rates now, we might consider that. Right, right. As opposed okay. to our own money. And also if there's some type of uh, incentive, we could, you know, by monthly starting in, you know, the end of July, the end of August or whatever, um, by paying the taxes early, you'll get – uh, this type of um, incentive, whatever it happens to be. And again, uh, you guys using all the information, um, you know, as far as what we're borrowing now, um, what we're interest rates we're paying, and what we might get interest on this money if we should happen to get it. So, right. I'm okay. I'm sure you'll uh, consider it. But, uh, and then yeah. we can also. You know, again, Don, I'm happy to get anyone else in on these discussions. Um, yeah, just something to brainstorm about, that's all. Um, so we can put it on a, uh, probably not the next agenda, because there's going to be a lot with uh, yeah. the construction going on, but the one after that I think would be appropriate. Um, although I think the legislature just passed uh, something that needs to be signed, but as far as penalties are not ad administering penalties, so that might give us an I uh, give us a, an opportunity to reach out to everyone in town and, and let them know that there are kind of different rules. But um, this is what we can do in the meantime: is, is paying really can help alleviate some of the, the issues. Because um, I would like to reach out to people and ask them to pay their taxes earlier, but when you 
consider what's happening right now. I don't think that, you know anyone wants to see an email from anyone or a front porch uh, asking, uh, you know, hey, send your money early. People are going to think we're idiots. Yeah, so, I mean, this might not be something that, that happens this year, but, I mean, even next year, some, you know, looking to the future, you know, there might well, be some Well, I think that's, that's what, with the Finance Committee and their recommendation, that would be something that we would put on the ballot um, for next year. But, yeah. like you said, it's going to start somewhere. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Any other um, old business or, or new discussion that anyone has? Not I. Not I. All right. All right. Well, thank, thank you, everyone. You. I hope everyone's well. Um, stay safe. Um, at the moment, I'd uh, make a motion to adjourn. So moved. Thank you, John. All in favor, vote aye. Bye. Bye. Thank you, everyone, for your patience and uh, hard work tonight. Thank you. Okay. Good night. Okay. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Bye.